I'm going to show you is something that we did with a channel partner who wanted to focus on the manufacturing sector. This is an area that they had some success in, but they wanted a targeted campaign in the manufacturing sector, and they said, let's also define it in the large enterprise segment. You know, manufacturing companies tend to be large, so they picked the large enterprise, the large segment, and then they said, let's actually focus a business user. You know, in a large manufacturing company, it's either the CIO or the IT director or VP of IT. The partner that we work with in this case is actually Verizon. And what, we're gonna, what I'm going to show you here with Sandy is actually what we did with Verizon was we customized the campaign specific to Verizon's brand guidelines as well as their messaging and their positioning. Then in conjunction with the Verizon sales and marketing team, we ran the campaign and then we drove the leads that we handed to Verizon and Verizon sales team converted and closed them. So one key thing to remember as we go through this is how this looks from an end user perspective. Can we switch to the actual demo? Thank you. So Sandy here is the CIO. Sandy, of a, Sandy is the CIO of a manufacturing company in this case. Let's call it Widget Manufacturing. We've identified her as one of the targets that we wanted to work, work with. So working with the Verizon team, we then send Sandy an email. Sandy is able to receive an email, and this is what it looks like. It's targeted with the keywords that they've chosen. Let's click on it, Sandy, to figure out what we want to do. When Sandy clicks on the Learn More button, we take her to a customized branded landing page. You look at it, it's very specific to the topic that she clicked on, and we give her two options. She can either learn more, or she can actually contact a Verizon person. So she wants to learn more, so she's going to click on that button to learn about the VCE service. When she clicks on that, she actually receives the content asset. In this case, Sandy is looking at the white paper, which is about productivity. It tells you all the things people do. Everyone's on Facebook at work. That's a drain on productivity. They're sitting in meetings, as we talked about. But it also talks about the cloud-based unified communication solutions that is offered by Verizon, which is of interest to her. So we've taken Sandy through the entire journey and now she's at the stage where she's saying, hey, I actually want to contact a salesperson. She clicks on the contact button. And what I've just shown you here is Sandy and I walked you through the entire journey, right? We targeted the manufacturing sector. We sent a bunch of emails. And what we were able to do is actually walk a lead from an interested visitor to a marketing qualified lead to a sales qualified lead all the way to the process where she now wants to purchase the VCE product. So at this stage, when she has filled in the information or the lead gen form, she hits submit, and the lead is transferred over to a Verizon salesperson. So we work with our channel partners in a collaborative manner where we help you drive traffic, we help you drive the demand, but the key part is the collaborative nature in which your salespeople and your sales development reps, and in this case, I want to give a shout out to Verizon who worked with us and were able to drive additional seats out of this campaign.